So you want me to do what? Give Johnny Blaze a call? On my Spirit of Vengeance cell phone? Yeah, that's the general idea. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was joking. We are not. These cuffs of Sidorak should allow the mirror table to access the innate link between you and your fellow Spirit of Vengeance, alone from the demon who resides within our forge. I added aloe to avoid any chafing. <sighs> Every other attempt we've made has failed. We need Robbie Reyes today, as well as the writer, if we are going to find Blaze and the page. Fine. So what do I do? Focus on Blaze or something? Their spirits have connected. Gee whiz, you think? You cannot flee destiny. You cannot hide from me. Or Lilith, it would seem. We must go now, Hunter. The parchment of power must not be allowed to fall. I got this. Buzz off. Sparky. That was awesome. I never thought I'd be hunting Johnny Blaze. Really? Hunting is all I do. When we find Blaze, who's gonna knock him around? Why will it be me? We're in a race to get Blaze before Hydra does. I just hope you reach him first. They're moving quite fast. We need to get the parchment from him. And don't take no for an answer. Lady, you want the page so bad, why don't you come get it yourself? Tempting. Truly. But I've already promised my children the privilege of tearing it from your soul. <laughs> what soul? It will be done. They have not lost interest.
something. Not looking good for you. Then let us send them home. Alters. The nest mother channels Lilith through them. That won't be enough to save her.
light will carry you onward. Time you quit this racket. You bring judgment to you get rid of that guardian and take down the nest mother easier said than done leave some for the rest of us bad luck for you bub i suppose it's something
Jack's on me, Skullboy. They're down. But I don't think you're out of the woods yet. Page, Blaze. This time I will not be so tolerant. Hold that thought. Soulless bastards must smell the damn thing on me. My mother be damned. Soulless don't give two rats about Lilith. Or even Kassan. Who do they serve then? Good question. But right now I got a better one. This? That what you're all here for? Well, here, Captain. Tenebris, Ignis, Lux, Tenebris. Wait, In virtue he's not reading the page. Yes, he is. Get back! Things are about to get crazy. Martha, where are you, have the numbers to overwhelm you. Don't get cocky. Now we face the surface of another evil. Makes no difference to me. Hell has room for everyone.
How invigorating.
looks as if you've weathered the storm. For now. Survived. Ain't that something? I'll be in touch. Cool. Ugh. What? The guy really knows how to make an exit. Hunter, when you get a chance, could you meet me at the chapel? Trust me. Uh, are you just gonna stand? You wanted to see me? You won't believe this, but we did it. Did what? Remember that first account of Lil and Corruption I found in the Book of Thoth? You mean the story of the ancient pharaoh who was struck down with corruption, and the traveling light worker who purified him? That's the one. Of course, I remember. Well, Magic and I finally transcribed the incantation the light worker used. And I'm pretty sure we can use it to finally remove your psycho mom's corruption over Wanda. Pretty sure is not enough. Especially not when meddling with powers that are as unstable as chaos magic. Jeez, Hunter. Sound like caretaker much? The incantation killed someone, Nico. It just does not sound safe. Oh, it's definitely not safe. How so? <clears throat> uh, full disclosure, the reason the Lightworker died was because he had to take on all that dark energy into his body and he just couldn't handle it. I tried finding a workaround, but all the texts on Chaos Magic said the same thing. Corruption can't be destroyed. It has to go somewhere, or to, like, somebody. So whoever removes it from Wanda will also have to absorb it. I will absorb it. You will? You're not, like, scared you're gonna, like, fall to her darkness? Lilith's darkness cannot corrupt me. Right, because you are just so good and pure that you could never ever fall. Correct. Well, at least you're on board. When is this happening? As soon as we break back into Banner's lab. Oh, and, uh, just one more thing, so listen up because it's kinda crucial. I'm gonna need you to memorize the incantation and recite it verbatim when you see Wanda in his lab. It's the only way to subdue her. It goes... <clears throat> Ego sum tenebris et venunt in domum suam iubet dominus. Ego sum tenebris domum domini precepta your. Think you can remember that, Hunter? I can handle anything. I knew I resurrected you for a reason. You need to memorize those lines as if your own life depends on it. Because it just might. Remember to study your lines, Hunter, because you do not want to screw this up. Oh, this was a huge hit when I was a kid. Hunter, I've got a theory. Want to hear it? 
My theory is that it's underappreciated work to be an awesome badass loon. I mean, did you see what happened when Blaze read the parchment aloud? That was an act of mad genius. He definitely destroyed a lot of soulless. I can give him that. Oh my god, really? The man unleashes the apocalypse on the forces of evil. And the most you can give him is an attaboy. Tough crowd. After all that, we still do not have the parchment. Without it, we cannot destroy it. Here's the thing. He's got no one to rely on. It's just him out there, facing this stuff all alone. He's not gonna give us something like the parchment easily. I think we all need to cut him some slack. The one who deserves all the slack is you, Robbie. You have grown so much since I first met you. You really think so? I know so. Forget Blaze and keep the focus on you. There is a mad genius somewhere in you as well. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. But maybe I am too hard on myself sometimes. Save that hardness for Hydra. Seeing Blaze in action really solidified some things for me, Hunter. And what is that? I still got a long way to go if I ever want to make my mark as a spirit of vengeance. Then you have work to do. Uh, yeah, I do. It's just hard to gain that kind of confidence when I'm always left on the sidelines. Anyways, I had to tune up the ride. She really took a beating out in the desert. Disappointed child. We must talk. The fool Blaze risks us all with his reckless antics. Blindly wielding the parchment of power like a child with their first wooden sword. Who knows what horrors he could have unleashed? We are fortunate he did not destroy us all. Had you not forced his hand, perhaps he would not have used it, Mother. Men like Blaze need little justification for their actions, don't they? Besides, it was not I who set the soulless upon you. It's bad enough you and your misguided heroes are hell-bent on keeping the parchment from me. If someone, something else, were to get their hands on that wretched thing. Wretched? You would speak ill of your precious Darkhold? The Darkhold is many things. Precious is not one of them. The book has a will of its own. It enslaves then destroys any soul foolish enough to try and tame it. No matter how strong they may think they are. Better to help me contain the damage, lest it consume us all. As long as any of us draw breath, we will stand against it. Against you. And as I have tried so hard to explain to you, child, I am not your enemy. Then prove it. Cast away that foul book and reclaim what remains of your soul. If only it were that simple. The parchment of power will be found. The dark holds will be made whole. He wills it so. Secret guardians, sorcerers, and tinkerers, your so-called family will shatter before the coming storm. But you and I will stand tall, precious child, united before the eye of the midnight sun.
I would not count on that, mother. Let's touch base. Hey, can I ask a favor? Oh, thanks, Hunter. Disturbing. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony. I'm here on Sister's Day. I guess Don Blaze didn't get the don't read from the evil Grimoire. In Blaze's defense, Strange does send out a lot of memos. Listen, Doc, I think this plan is the craziest one you've come up with yet. It's not crazy if it works, and it really works. Oh, I've got all the faith in the world, because the alternative is not the capital and... Ah, Hunter. Just who I was hoping to see. I understand you've already been on the hunt with Blade, so you're aware of our unusual visitor on the grounds? Yes, we encountered something Blade called the Bar Guest. His instincts were correct. I believe it is indeed the bar guest, or someone's attempt at creating a facsimile of one. Is the Abbey in danger? Not unless we provoke it. However, it seems to harness a dark magic similar to what courses through the barrier. I need you to track this bar guest, capture it, and bring it to me here in the forge. But please, don't kill it. It's my hope that I can find a way to use its magics to break through the barrier to the lab. After battling Hydra agents and Fallen, tracking a pup on the Abbey ground sounds like a vacation. Do not let your guard down, Hunter. As I said, it's no ordinary dog, but a demonic entity. I suggest you bring Blade and Wolverine with you. I believe the portal will soon be at its apex. I'll do my best to keep it stable until you can cross. I'll see you there, Hunter. Track the beast quickly. Time is of the essence. There are gonna be consequences for Blaze reading from the Parchment of Power. There are always gonna be consequences. Never seen. Let's do this. Blaze tempts fate all the time. Guy's got very little respect for things more powerful than himself. No point in hiding it, Hunter. I already got a whiff of that demon dog you're after. Blade said it gave you two the slip the other night. I want in on the next run. Perhaps that is what our hunt is missing. Your positive attitude. Me? Positive? That's a new one. But I am curious about this mystery dog of yours. This supernatural beast roaming the Abbey grounds has proven difficult to track. Still, Strange thinks it may be critical to breaking through the barrier. Blade's no slouch, and I've seen you in action. This thing must be the real deal if it's giving you trouble. It is a Bargist. It resembles a hound, but it is not. It is a spectral omen of death. I thought I smelled a weird doggy odor out by your old crypt. I chalked it up to the side effects of your resurrection. Curious. I have no idea what this creature smells like. It smelled like hate and death and a freshly opened grave. It could really use a bath. This beast is vitally important. You say you picked up the scent near Hunter's Folly? Yeah, that's right. If I went back there, I could probably pick it up. No sweat. So, I'll meet you there. Did you just invite yourself along? Bet your ass I did. I'll see you at the Folly tonight. See you at Hunter's Folly. All right, Blade. Don't jerk me around. What do you really know about this demon dog stuck in the woods out there? 
Figured you'd make up the Zen sooner or later. But it's not just another shadow hound. There's something off about this thing. Yeah, that's why. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll be direct. I overheard you, Nico, and Magic talking in a chapel last night. I hope you three are not planning another foolish excursion to rescue you-know-who. Her name is Wanda. Yes, I know. You cannot even say her name? Just level with me. Are they still planning on trying to save her? No. But you were whispering, talking in hushed tones. Sounds like you were trying to conceal something. That would not be entirely untrue. Oh? We were talking about breaking into Banner's lab. Banner's lab? What about it? Stark believes it is imperative for us to retrieve his Gamma Accelerator from it. Why is that overpriced contraption worth risking our mission for? He believes he can use it to destroy the Parchment of Power. Of course he does. He thinks he has a gadget for everything. I guess I will have to make it clear that he does not. Now, is there anything else you'd like to tell me, or would like to know, before I do just that? I have taken... We'll talk m Oh, Hunter. Grizzly old biker dudes. They just do whatever they want. Oh, might as well have handed the page over to Lilith. saying Abby could use a cat to counter Charlie's big dog energy well if anyone was wondering what happens when the good guys use the evil book Johnny Blaze has you covered we don't know the forces we're met with. must not be her purview Perhaps I should try this somewhere else. Hmm, this does not work.
He also read from the dark cool. Grave of Jeremiah Cain, another host of the spirit of vengeance. I wonder if he was as conflicted as Robbie is about being a ghostwriter. I've been texting with MJ a lot lately. Somebody bought me an America's Dad coffee. of power is not to be trifled with. Am I the only one who listens to this? Interesting. My old fort. Caretaker was furious when she found I had built this. I wonder what she was really afraid of. I need to find the next moon seal. This is which sign?
salutations. Charlie would not stop barking this morning. If anyone's going to blow up the Abbey, it should be one of us new guys. We tracked it across the grounds, almost had it too, until it escaped through a big red portal. The dog opened a portal. Someone did, and it wasn't magic. Strange suspects Hydra. Hydra experimenting on their own recruits is one thing, but animals? That just pisses me off. I'm with you on that. Something smells as shadows of mud. Johnny Red from the Big Bad Book. That's a very Johnny Blaze thing to do. Blaze really screwed us over on this one. He sent up a supernatural beacon saying we have the parchment of power here. No dark old fate would take it lightly, especially not the parchment of power. He stepped in some of Charlie's left behinds. Wanted to come to that at all. All my stuff that's not in red. 